the best way to get a healthy new lifestyle started in your life. I'm Maria Borelius, one of the authors of Health Revolution 12 Week Program. And I'm Rita Catalino, her co author, coach, friend, and all of the above. All of the above. Yeah. And it's interesting, Rita, uh, because what Rita taught me when I started this, you can have all the knowledge you want in the world, know everything about nutrition, everything about exercise, everything about everything. Mm. But if you can't coach yourself, mm -hmm. you're in deep shit. Yeah. <laughs> that is the truth. That is the truth. It's so true. that, I, I think that is one of the things you've taught me, like really digging into yourself and leading yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find so that. So what have you learned about that? Oof. Everything. Uh, yeah. And nothing. I mean, <laughs> I'm still learning. Yeah. Um, I think that you can write the perfect recipe for a cake. You can have the eggs, you can have the flour, you can have the sugar, you can have everything. But if you don't use that, if you're not baking with a smile mm. and you don't feel comfortable in that position and you're not putting your heart and soul and truly believing in yourself that that cake will turn out, that cake won't turn out. Mm. Even though you have the right ingredients. So it's the same thing. If I give a client or you, you know, eat this, do this, ABC, the missing piece and the most important piece is that mindset of that client. Do you believe that you are going to be successful? Do you believe that you're worth optimal health? Do you believe that you can become the best version of yourself with this recipe? Because if you start by believing you don't, then you won't. It's, it's, it sounds so simple, but it is the hardest piece of the yeah, puzzle. Yeah. Don't you believe? I do, and that's one of the reasons we spend a lot of time in the book, Health Revolution 12 Weeks, thinking about how you can set that goal for yourself and integrate it into your deepest desires. And one of the things I've been working with during sort of, and I started thinking about that, writing to you about my inner thoughts and when I was screwing up like, oh shit, you know, what happens if I am with friends and I have five glasses of champagne, everything is ruined. Um, understanding also what ruins my journey and what helps it. Mm. So to understand what are my trigger foods, what are my trigger situations, mm. I learned that I was an emotional eater. So when I'm on my own, I will always eat very well mm. and feed myself in the way I want to. Mm -hmm. But when I am with other people, I can go berserk. Mm -hmm. So that was a great learn about mm -hmm. myself. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. And yeah. I remember one of the first times we started working yeah. together yeah. and the whole chocolate cake with yeah. your friend, yeah. you know, you're at a cafe with a friend and this is, your story yeah. for others, it might be the wine at the wine bar, yeah. or it's you feel this need to please other people and live by their rules because you feel that you're either going to be judged, they're not going to accept you, mm. they're going to think you're weird, mm. and you have a fear of failure. So you 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 decide to join in and do it even though you don't want to do it. Yeah. So I've, I think I've helped you and I help many clients because I help myself first. Yeah, you understood that. I first. understood that these are my goals, this is my life, and by being, they say, be the change that you want to see. Yeah, and that so, is so true. So that if you so want true. to see and inspire others around you, you need to be the leader, you need to go first, you need to take your own health, mm. your own life, and your own actions into your own hands, and therefore inspire others to yeah, do the true. same. It's so true. It, 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 it's so important, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I also think that for a lot of us who do health changes and we have families, Many people have families and you start off and then you become like a person who's quit smoking. Mm -hmm. And what's that person like? Super dull. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> You shouldn't smoke because I just quit and it was hard for me. And how can you smoke? And you become like, yeah, I stopped eating muffins. And why are you eating muffins? And you become dull and preachy. And I became dull and preachy. And that is a very uncharming person. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and my family reacted uh, harshly, Poorly. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. as they should. Uh, and I was harassed almost and and then I became sulky and I was like, okay, I'm just going to do my own thing mm -hmm. like that. And then when I did away and did my own thing and was happy in that and they could see change. They were inspired. They were inspired mm -hmm. and they started coming with me and Gandhi said, be the change you want to see. Mm -hmm. So everyone who preaches mm -hmm. to other people is a person you don't want to follow. You mm -hmm. want to see what they do mm -hmm. and you want to learn from them how they overcome obstacles. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So I have learned this the hard way by making the mistakes in the beginning, understanding more about where my own pitfalls were and trying to gradually move my ship around, which is hard, it takes a lot of work. So, and with alcohol, with sugars, with 
you know, all these things that are have been hard for me. I think, you know, m we're, we're talking about mindset and, and setting yourself up for success on this journey. Um, and one of the other really important things is foreseeing possible obstacles that may come in your way. Yeah. I think being proactive instead of reactive on this journey is one of the number one things that is going to create success. Give an example. So. Okay, so I'm okay, I'm going to do this. I'm ready. I have my, you know, I have my eggs prepped today and I'm going to, you know, do this and do that and then you go out into the day and then your boss says uh, you have to stay for lunch, you can't eat, I need you to do this meeting, and then your mom calls and she needs you after work for something important and you, you can't go to the gym, so then you go, you have takeout pizza and you miss your workout, right? Because you reacted, you had yeah. emotions, you said, screw it, nobody let me do what I wanted to do today, I had this plan and that happened, so I'm going to have the pizza and the wine, screw the world, this sucks, mm. I'm done. Mm. But when you're proactive and you say, okay, this may happen today. I may be pulled away from my desk. I may be pulled away from my lunch. I may be pulled away from my workout. Yeah. What options or what things can I do can, in my control that I can still stay on track? Mm, you know, exactly. I'm going to, um, when I go visit my mom, when she calls me because she needs me, I'm going to suggest instead of sitting on the couch and talking, we talk and walk, mm. right? So I'm pulling my mom with me. Mm. Okay, I can't eat my lunch that I prepped today. Well, what's a healthy form of takeout that's not the pizza? Well, I'm gonna get the, the chicken burger, take the bar bread away and eat the chicken. You know, having strategies in place, it, it's, it's so important because one thing that we've all learned in the past couple of years is there's so many things that are out of our control. Mm. And the only thing that we can control is what we consume, both mentally and physically and emotionally, and how we react to situations. Mm. And I have learned that doing that through my food and my body have helped me react better to situations and those around mm. me. Mm -hmm. So it's trickled into all these other areas Very of my nice. life. Mm. Yeah. So proactive, overreactive. Mm. Right. And planning. How do you plan. how do you plan your day? So yeah. you so travel what, so, 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 a lot. So, yeah. You work a lot. Yeah. You have four children. Yeah. You have various businesses. Yeah. You're writing a book. Yeah. And I throw a program at yeah. you that yeah. requires you to work out five yeah. days a week and, and eat, you know, five times a day. And yeah. how do you do it? How do you set yourself up for success? Yeah. So it it sounds ridiculous, but I've been using a lot of planning. And mm. what I do in the mm. morning, the first thing mm. when my brain is fresh, mm. not tired, is that I plan my day in two. So my overarching goals, and I do it uh, according to four different sectors that are relevant to me. One is my physical health, one are my work goals, one is my emotional goals, and then I actually add my spiritual goals, but that's for me. And then I plan what I need to have done, and then in two hour chunks. So between, you know, eight and 10, I'm doing this. Between 10 and 12, I'm doing this. It might be my work, so, or my other goals, or whatever I need to have done. And then if I've planned my workout, let's say between seven and nine in the morning, and it doesn't get done, I know that I should have done my workout earlier on. So maybe I'll go in the lunch. Mm. It's kind of in my mind. But also part of this is, as you say, understanding. And here I've been helped a lot, and we write about that in the book to Professor Stephen Peters, uh, mm. who is a psychiatrist and has helped the UK football team, uh, uh, you know, the UK uh, bicycling team who took so many gold medals in the Olympic Games in 2012 and he talks about the inner chimp we all have in us mm. so if you think about the brain the old parts are like the chimp that's our old essence mm. and then we have the human which is the outer layer the human is very wise the human does this plans mm. thinks ahead strategizes can understand deep health the chimp hmm. is a three-year-old. You don't have to do this. Yeah, have yeah, pizza. yeah, yeah. And I'm emotional. My boss has been like an asshole. Yeah. I want to have pizza, yeah. uh, you know, and I'm upset. I'm going to do this, etc. So to understand your own chimp and mm. what triggers it and understand how you can do, look after the chimp. So mm. a great strategy that I use for my chimp is uh, because chimp doesn't understand time. Mm -hmm. So whenever you have to think about time, you go into human mode. So I was like, no, I don't want to go work out because I feel very upset. I think I need a chocolate instead. <laughs> and, then, and then my human will say, well, when are you going? And because that sets off the human. Mm. Human starts thinking, okay, when? Well, maybe seven o'clock instead. Mm. So that's a great way mm. of, of um, and then you can also bribe the chimp. Mm. You can say, like a three-year-old, like, 
Okay. If you do this, if you get you do, this. The, so if you have your workout, you can then you go see chocolate. a movie. Right. You can have a piece of chocolate. Right. So that's a great other way of, of, of treating your chimp. Mm. Um, and understanding that this emotional aspect of you is not you, it's a part of you. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a part of mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. But you have this wise long-term person mm -hmm. too. And also avoiding situations that really trigger my chimp. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm learning about myself mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. this journey mm -hmm. too. Does this resonate with you? A hundred percent. And one other thing that just kind of came because up. Because you have a fun, I have a weird chimp, <laughs> but you have a fun chimp too. I have a fun chimp. Yeah. Yeah, but they just want, always want to have fun. Yeah. That's my problem. Yeah, chimp. My chimp wants to drink and dance and yeah. sing karaoke yeah. and do all the things yeah. all day. Yeah. And um, I have to just kind of, yeah. I have you a know, wild say, chimp. Say, you know, yeah. the, I have a wild chimp, yeah. but... It's funny because a lot of people think and talking about, you know, this this mindset and, you know, drinking or eating for others. Maria and I, we also you and I enjoy our Ooh. champagne. And I think I think we wine, should, everything, everything. We're party. But we, we met for the first time, actually, in southern Spain. Uh, we had been working together for a couple of years online. And Maria said, oh, you're in Europe. I'm going to visit you. And. And we ended up going, you know, bar hopping, tapas drinking, and we made, but we made choices instead of drinking, you know, copious amounts of wine. We added some water to them. We made them a little diluted, but we yeah. had half copious fun. amounts of wine. Half copious. Yeah. But having fun, and I, I think that's the essence too of this journey. I think so many people think when they start on a health journey, whether it's, you know, our, our 12 week journey of, of the health revolution, it's about balance. You can have your glass of wine but you, you work out. Mm. You can have your glass of wine, but not with a huge piece of cake and bread and not work out. So it's what can you add from an anti-inflammatory diet? Mm. What can you add in terms of yeah. movement? What can you add in terms of stillness? And what can you have? Yeah. What can you enjoy? Yeah. Right. So I just want people to understand that yeah. this isn't a deprivation no, diet. No, no, not at this all. This is a, a, a whole on holistic lifestyle yeah. that we both live and enjoy yeah. and yeah. we find we're both better yeah. people because of it. Yeah. Yes, and I think a concept that you and I have been using a lot is something we call the human village. Mm. So the human village is a place where you are with other people mm -hmm. and humans are made to be with other humans. Mm. We're not made to be in sitting in isolation outside of the human village in a perfect yoga pose with a perfect protein powder and do like breathing exercises. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. We are made to be in the in hustle community. and bustle of everyday life. Mm. So you need to have a lifestyle that works with that, you know, the human village. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you need to know the strategies that can make you work with other humans. And that includes if you have a best friend who does the best cheesecake ever, you go and enjoy that with yeah, her and you yeah. have fun and you thank her. And one of the strategies I have, I don't know if it is whenever I go to somebody else's house, I eat everything they make. Mm. Because that to me doesn't belong in the food sector. It belongs in the love sector. Mm. And that's another sector mm -hmm. in the love and gratitude and mm. friendship or relationship sector. So I go, go there and I will share with them because when I started the lifestyle change, people would be like, oh, we can't have you over for dinner because like you don't eat so and so and so. So I don't want to be that person. Mm -hmm. I want to be mm -hmm. like. I'm sharing, mm -hmm. I'm part of this, mm -hmm. no fuss for me, you know, we are happy together. Mm -hmm. Is that is that no, too frivolous for you? <laughs> I'm like, mm. yeah, yeah, you're really Maria, shit. No, I think the problem may occur for some people if they visit people's houses often. Yeah. So if they're at the start of their journey yeah. and they're like, oh, I like what Maria said. And yeah. I'm, I go to my friend's house every other every night. Every day because it's right. pizza so every night. So for you, night. you're talking mm -hmm. about, uh, uh, you know, once every month or so visit. It's something might like that. might be more often than that. I okay, think. Maria. Yeah. <laughs> Going white is my chimp. <laughs> no, but I think people just need to look at where they're at. Yeah. And, you know, if this is the brand new start of their yeah. journey. Like sure. you, you didn't do this at the beginning. Yeah, I was more. You, yeah. You're talking from an evolved place in this journey. But I think when people are starting out, they really need to hone in on what they want mm. and perhaps protect themselves and yeah. have some boundaries yeah. um, so that they can get to that next level yeah. before they go to the to that spot. Mm. So it's so much to think about. Yeah, so I mean, much. it's such a personal journey and, mm. and we really invite you to come and, you know, dive deep into this book with us where we give so many options and strategy strategies and, yeah. and, and ideas so that you can make this lifestyle really fit yourself yeah. yeah and i think one of the best things you have taught me is that 
there is no such thing as a failure. If you had a chocolate cake too much, it's like, thank you little chocolate cake. That was a great encounter, a great love affair of like two minutes. Mm. And then just go on, mm. continue. Mm. Mm. It's a long journey. It's mm. grit. It's mm. about grit. Mm. It's about endurance. Mm. Mm. So enjoy what you've had and then just continue. Mm. No guilt, no shame. Chimp doesn't do guilt and mm -hmm. shame. Mm -hmm.